What does manhood mean to you? So manhood has so many different definitions, but the one definition that sticks out to me is moderation, knowing when to say enough is enough and when to give enough. And welcome to another edition of King Crush Thursday, the series where we highlight and uplift Black men, because frankly, not too many people are doing it. My name is Val Gay, and I'm super excited about this brother today. Let's see. He is a community optimist. He is a hard worker, and as he likes to say, he's a lover, not a fighter. Please welcome Mr. Jean-Pierre Bryce, also known as Uncle P. Hey, Uncle P. How are you? Hi, Val. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, not a problem at all. Excellent. Well, I am so glad you're here, Uncle P, because you are helping to contribute to the opening up, the busting open of a very narrow and myopic narrative about Black men and what Black manhood means. We know these stories are vast. They are as many as the men that are walking this planet. And yet somehow or another, you have been distilled into this very small group of people that I won't say is incorrect, it's just incomplete. And so we really want to tell the stories and hear your stories from you yourself um, and your brothers um, about who you are. And hopefully one day there'll be a young king who may or may not have positive black male role models to come and, and see this repository of these same six questions answered by all these different men um, and perhaps find guidance there. And then for the rest of us who are neither male or even black, for us to look at the same six set of questions and hopefully have our minds expanded into who you are, if you will. And and maybe it'll start us start uh, helping us to look at men, black men particularly, as just humans, right? Just being on the planet, giving you back your humanity. That's it, you know? Yeah. And so, yeah. Absolutely. So I'm so glad we're here and you're here. And I'm going to get started with the first question, which is, what does manhood mean to you? Uh, manhood has so many definitions, right? Um, I think it, it it means strength, right? Determination, um, willpower, right? My father used to say it's about moderation, right? So, so for me, manhood... Manhood means to to be able to stand up for the weaker people, for the person that might not have strength, um, be able to give them strength to talk, to talk life into them, not to not to pull away from them. Um, it, it could mean so many different things in so many different ways, right? Waking up in the morning early, right? To make sure my kids are ready for school, right? To, to putting them to bed on time, right? To making sure, you know, bills are paid, right? So manhood has so many different definitions, but the one definition that sticks out to me is moderation, knowing when to say enough is enough and when to give enough. That's that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Uncle P, who and or what is important to you? My family. First and foremost, I'm a father of six daughters, one son. Um, my oldest is in Lincoln University right now. She's a junior. Um, my youngest child is three years old. So I go from 21 all the way to three, right? <laughs> so um they are the most important thing for me. They are the reason why I started down the road of broadcast journalism. I always wanted to be on the radio, right? I'm, I'm going to do a show right after this. Uh, Uncle P, let's love again on cmpradio.net, right? But 
they are the reason why I said, okay, I, I've had enough of the games. I've had enough of playing in the streets. I want to get serious. And I wanted to leave them a legacy, something that they could hold up about their father. For me not to remain a drug dealer or a person that was running the street or doing the things that I was doing, it, it took a lot of it took a lot of strength, right? To stick with it when no one thought it would work, when no one thought I could do it, right? To stick with it and, and to keep on pushing. So to me, family is number one. Um, and that not, not that's not just my children, that's my mother, my godmothers. Uh, my father, who passed away when I was 12 years old, my grandmother, who passed away when I was 25, right? Just just to keep their their legacies going as well. Just just to be here to say, this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm doing it. That 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 that's that's the most important thing that I have. Wow, that's amazing. That is really amazing. Thank you so much for that. So, Uncle P, how do you want us to see you? I want you to see me as a human being, right? We were talking earlier and you say you just want to give humanity back to men. I don't want to be seen as a drug dealer. I don't want to be seen as a criminal. I don't want to be seen as a cheating husband. I don't want to be seen, even though these are things that I have done, right? These are, these have been, they sat on my lap. I'm not going to say they were me because I never really wanted to do it, but they sat on my lap and I played, I played along with it, right? And I let it ride, but I just want to be seen as a human. I want to be seen as a person that has feelings. I want to be seen as as a man um, that can defend, that will that will create and not destroy. Um, who will build with whoever and 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 see this, this this right here. This this skin. This is about this thick, right? It doesn't. So I I bleed like everyone. Right. I cry like everyone. I get upset like everyone. I, I go through my ups and downs just like everyone else. Right. So just see me as a human being. Mm, that is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Uncle Pete, what is your epic dream? My epic dream is to own a radio station located in Chester, Pennsylvania, um, that that gives the people, the voice, right? So the radio station that I own is cmpradio.net, right? So it stands for Cultivating Mature Positivity, Constantly Making Progress, Chester Made Products, and Changing Media's Perspective. My sister came up with that a while ago, but I don't call them the mainstream media. I call them the lamestream media because the only thing they talk about when it comes to Black people is all the bad that we're doing. I want to make sure we highlight the good. I want to make sure we highlight the entrepreneur. I want to make sure we highlight the fighter. I want to make sure we highlight the people that are not giving up, the teachers, the 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 assistant coach, the the head coach, the people that are in our community affecting the future. Because the children are our future, right? I, I listen, I don't listen to Whitney Houston too often, but when I hear that song, it it's true, right? The children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way, right? So you have to show them all the beauty you possess inside, right? So I can sit here and quote the song the whole way through, but it, that that's important to me, right? So my epic dream is for cmpradio.net to be to be funded, right, through sponsors or or or, or generous uh, contributors to our our CMP Radio Foundation, so we can teach children what it's like to tell their narrative or to shift their narrative and do it with love. Tell stories with love. Tell the appreciation and the love that you have for your community and, and everything else will work itself out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're here. That's awesome. Right. That's right. awesome. So question five is Mr. Jean-Pierre Bryce, Uncle P. Who are you? Oh man, I, I I have been so many things in my life, right? I think right now, um I am a man who is who has his vision set on a dream. Um I I am a man who who can be held accountable. I'm a man who takes the things that he does wrong and continues to work on them. Um I'm a motivator. Right. I, I want people to understand that no matter what you did yesterday, you can do something different today. 
and it can get better tomorrow. <laughs> but if we continue to look back on yesterday, like I messed that up, I can't get, you will stay in yesterday. You will stay in that mistake. I've made several mistakes in my life. None greater than 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 being a, a cheater, right? And lying to someone that, that was there for me. So as of right now, I could be held accountable. I don't want to play in the street. I don't want to laugh. I want to motivate children. I want to help children. Um, I want to let them know how important it is to accomplish one thing and to see their lives change. When you accomplish something, when you graduate from high school, when you when you go and get your GED, or you accomplish something that you never thought you ever would, it changes your trajectory real quick, real quick. Because now you know you can do it. Now you want to do something else. Then you want to do something else. And then you're growing up to do something else. So I am a man who is doing something else, right? I'm a man who wants other people to see me doing something else. And I, I don't, that's, that's, that's all I can be, right? That's all I want to be. That's amazing. That is so amazing. That's awesome. Thank you so much. It's so here fun. we are already at question six, right? which is, is there anything that I should have asked you that I didn't, or you wanted me to ask you that I didn't? In other words, what did I miss? I don't think you missed anything. I think, I think, I think this is a great opportunity for men to come on here and to say who they are, where they are and where they stand. Right. So I think your questions were spot on. Right. Um, I appreciate them. Thank you. Um, you no, know, my life is full of journeys and, and, and one step, two steps over here, another step on the left. Right. And I'm right footed. Right. That, that's how I feel. I'm right footed. I'm always stepping out with my right foot. But you can step out with your right foot in the wrong direction. I've done that a few times and I've, I've gotten a couple totals knocked off because of it, but I, I pull it back and I understand, right? All right. What did I do wrong there? You have to analyze your mistakes. You have to analyze your steps. And some people say I'm an overthinker. I don't think I overthink too much, but I do when I know I messed up. I got to bring it back. I got to look at how this happened. What happened here? What happened there? Okay. I can't do that again. Right. Got to do something else. So for me, with you sending me the invite to do to do this interview, I was like, "Why should you want to interview me? Right? Who who am I?" But as I sit here and I talk to you, I understand why. You feel me? I see why, and and I don't. I can't necessarily. I don't see my face. You see my face, right? So you know, you see the person that I am. So you know, like I like him. He he looks like somebody I should talk to. He he he's a black man. He's standing tall. He's proud. He's he's he's, he's excited. Um. I don't ever want anyone to say I'm not happy. I don't want anyone to say I'm not positive. I'm grateful and thankful for every opportunity that I receive. And 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 I want to thank you for 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 asking me to do this interview and and for doing this interview with me. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, my brother. I'm I'm super excited and grateful for your presence in the world. Your answers are really resonate with I know will resonate with many of us. I mean, I think anyone who's ever made a mistake or on purpose, as someone I first say, anyone of us have ever made it on purpose and have had an opportunity to rectify that or to come back from the consequences of that in my faith, that is the basis of my whole faith, right? That, um, and I believe that when we do that, we not only say to other people, yeah, you may have messed up because there's no denying it, right? I appreciate your answers around that and your honesty around that. Yeah, I did it. Am I happy about it? No, but I can't go back. So what can I do right now going forward to make sure that I don't ever do that again? I don't ever hurt somebody else like that again. I don't ever do whatever. There are so many other mistakes to be making in the world. There's no reason to be making those same mistakes again. Right. Okay. <laughs> and so I'm so grateful for that. And I just honor you, my king. I pray that your epic dream absolutely comes true and that we all get to see more of of you. We all get to see the the work that you do and the products of the work. And I'm so grateful on behalf of your children, your as I six daughters and a son, seven kids. Oh. And on behalf of your seven kids, right. um, as a daddy's girl. Right. I know how important your presence is in their lives. Um, and 
you know, um, on behalf of them, I thank you for that. And we also know, as one brother said, you know, 95% of us are doing the right thing. We are raising our kids. We're there for our kids. We are putting our kids to bed. We're doing all the things that we need to do to keep them alive and to keep them flourishing and all that. Then sadly, 90% of the media, what did you call the media? It's not the mainstream media. It's the what? Mainstream. The lamestream media. The lamestream media. Right, right. <laughs> it's the lamestream is showing 95% of their time is showing the other 5%, which again, I will say is not necessarily incorrect. Sometimes it is, but it's not necessarily incorrect. It's just incomplete, just like with every other group on the face of this planet. And so with that, I'm just so grateful that you are here. So glad that you said yes. Um, and um, I want you to stay right there because I want to thank the audience for joining us today. I really hope that you enjoyed this conversation as much as I did. And if there is a positive black male role model in your life who you want to see highlighted and heard in this forum, please click the link below or in my bio, fill out the nomination form and we will take it from there. We are well over 100 brothers. It's so amazing to me. Every time we those numbers just click up there, it's just we're triple digits. Ah, so amazing. Um, and the reality is they could be a community opti uh, optimist who is a hard worker and a lover, not a fighter or not. Right? What we really care about are the brothers who are making a positive impact on their community, starting with the nuclear family and everyone writ large after that. I don't really care what the brothers do for a living as long as it is one, legal and two, positive. And that's where we are right now. Right. And they could have done something before, but I also believe, and I think it's in our DNA of our country and most of the world, that once one has made retributions to society, they should be welcomed back into the society. And so I'm so glad that you are here in this society, my brother, and I just thank you so much. So for everyone else, please stay tuned yet uh, another week, next week, for yet another amazing king. And in the meantime, please remember to spread love and have a great day. Thank you so much. And Uncle P, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks.